Smells delicious. He's not picking up. I know he's gonna want some of this. Look at how pretty that is. So I'm not Martha Stewart and I'm not Betty Crocker. I'm just me. <laughs> A guy who lives on my own and <laughs> I do the best I can. Let's just jump right in. So I just put about that much water in there just to catch the potatoes. packs of 300 gram tofu, super firm. I'm not a big fan of using tofu presses. I don't mind if there's a little bit of water in there. The texture's gonna be awesome. It's gonna cook out during the process. So I'm just gonna squeeze it by hand, set it aside, dump this water. I'm gonna do that with all of them. Using a tofu press is a waste of money and a waste of time. And I didn't go vegan to buy a bunch of gadgets that I don't need. Guarantee you don't see tofu presses in restaurants. If I want to dry it out any further, I just take a tea towel, they call them over here. Just a towel. I like to call them kitchen towel. Just press it. So the things that will take the longest to cook is the tofu and the potatoes, because we're gonna make some mashed potatoes out of these. This is a meal that is super high in protein and really flavorful. Everybody's going off on all this health kick on, in January, which is great. I like to eat healthy as well, and I just consider myself eating healthy all the time. 80% healthy, 20% wicked, that's the motto. For this dish, to make it really focus on easy and flavorful, I'm just gonna pop this in the oven. I need to preheat the oven, 200 degrees Celsius, 400 degrees Fahrenheit. While the oven is heating up, we're just gonna season the tofu. A little bit of olive oil, just a touch on each one, and then I'm gonna use my hands just rub around the edge. Obviously, if you're no oil, then don't just don't use it. This is a sage and onion seasoning mix. I tend to use it a lot. And you can use any blend you want. Season the other side, super simple. So it's about a couple tablespoons. Along with that, I'm gonna add a pinch of salt and some black pepper. All right, remember, tofu doesn't have any flavor, so to flavor it however I want to flavor it, if that makes sense. And because it's just a big white void in the middle of it, I wanna make sure the flavor is gonna penetrate it. Just gonna pop it in here. Now you could sear it. I'm making this easy if this is a weeknight meal or a weekend, whatever you want. It's just a, a very simple, easy dinner to go with. So the oven is almost preheated. I'm not too precious about it. I'm just gonna pop it in. So I want that to roast for a good amount of time. Now we're gonna prep our veggies. I have some celery, courgette, broccoli, another courgette, zucchini. So for the carrots, I'm gonna add them right to the boiling water because I know the carrots will take the longest. This is how I like to cook at home. This is what I do all the time to make things easier. I'm not in a restaurant, I'm at my house. So I am gonna use every technique that I've learned to make dinner as delicious and flavorful and as fast as I possibly can. And this is one of the tricks. The broccoli, so I'm just gonna trim it. So not too big, everything will fit on a spoon so I don't waste the stem. I'm just gonna trim the outside of it. And then that is going into the water as well. And that's the only waste. And because every vegetable deserves its own clean cutting surface, <laughs> I have to wipe up after each one. Just gonna trim the top stuff, cut it in half. Half. You can do it any way you want. I like to do it at an angle. Seems a little bit more fancier. The celery. I have a couple onions, red and white. Just gonna cut them into quarters. And there we go. There's like five of your five a day, 10 of your five a day, whatever it is that they call it over here. I do want to oil and season these. I'm going to use a bigger bowl. Quick. Going to add them to here. Touch of olive oil, salt, black pepper, smoked paprika, just a pinch, granulated garlic, maybe a teaspoon. It's 
Now I always like to use baking paper on the bottom of the veg because it's easy cleanup and I'm all about easy cleanup. I'm all about easy, if you haven't noticed. I'm easy. It's time to check on that tofu. The tofu's looking nice. Flip. All right, so while the tofu's cooking, potatoes are coming to a boil slowly. I'm gonna take the time now to clean up. It's not much, but I like to clean as I go. It just makes it all the much easier when it's all done. Here I go, being easy again. I'm gonna make a garlic butter herb mash. I'll have to do a video on the gadgets and stuff that I actually do like to have around the house that make life simple. And this is one of my favorite tools to use because it gets so much flavor out of regular herbs and whatever you want to smash in it. Potatoes are done. I'll let this sit while we prep up the garlic. I want to par roast these, so I'm going to pop these in the oven with the tofu. So I have one, two, three. You can use as much garlic as you want. Pop these in here quick. Skins on. Let's be able to take the skins off, as you can see. So while I have the pestle water, I'm going to add half a teaspoon of black peppercorns, about half a teaspoon of white peppercorns. And this is going to be first. Another helpful tip, I always have a towel under here. Garlic. Now I find that doing this gives it optimal flavor. And this is a great way to do garlic bread as well. Just want to get it really to a paste. Pinch of salt. I have about a stick of butter. I'm going to start adding that. Delicious. That would be great for garlic bread as well. Oh yeah, and the broccoli stem. I'm just going to strain these. So because I'm going to make a gravy, I could have used that liquid, but I didn't. Next time. Cut off the ends, cut in half, about that size. Broccoli stem, same thing. Those are delicious. Oh good. Roast veggies, almost done, about halfway. They look gorgeous. And the tofu is looking good, crispy on the edge. Still got some bounce to it. All right, so that garlic butter. Actually, I'm gonna use some, not too much, about that much. If you wanna make it extra creamy, it's gonna add a couple tablespoons of the Greek style yogurt. And then it'll just make it extra creamy. Salt, some nutritional yeast. Delicious. Who's here? Frankie's here. Oh, Frankie. Frankie wants her treat. <laughs> You're so cute. Can we kiss? Give me another. There you go. Good girl, Frankie. I like to average about a half a piece per person. I'll eat a whole one. I'm not just going to serve that plain tofu like that. A lot of people would complain. I probably would be one of them. So let's elevate it to restaurant level and how you can make it super delicious at home. I'll show you. Some panko here. I bought some roasting herbs. Rosemary, thyme, sage. I'll probably use this much. A tablespoon's worth of thyme. It's okay if there's little bits of lumber in there, but not a lot. You don't want a lot of that lumber in there. It'll just not be good to chew on. I like to just try to scrunch it all up. Set aside half of it for the gravy. The other half. Okay, now is where we get into some real special stuff. I'm gonna use a tablespoon, two tablespoons of vegan mayo, a tablespoon of some good Dijon mustard, maple syrup, and then panko. Black pepper, some pinch of salt. A little bit of olive oil. Yum. Now you don't have to add this, but I am gonna. So a splash of sherry. Now that panko's just gonna soak it all up. Spoon. I'm gonna let this sit for a couple minutes because it'll absorb all of that and be a nice, beautiful crust for the tofu. Make sure you wash your hands and just start packing it on here. Cover the surfaces, make sure it's all in there. I could have made a lot more and just tried to wrap the whole thing, which I'll probably do again with a different one, but for now, Right in the oven. I'm gonna make a gravy. 
25 grams of the veg bullion. You can use, you know, not chicken bullion or beef bullion, whatever you want. It doesn't have any animals in it. Simple gravy. Corn flour or corn starch. Boiling water. I could do it in the pot, but I want to show you. Make the broth. Looks like a urine sample, but you know. <laughs> so does all broth. I'm gonna add two tablespoons of mustard. I'm gonna add a little bit of maple syrup. Probably watched Elf too many times this year. It's just the cornstarch and cold water, the fresh herbs that we chopped up earlier. So these are the other half. There's no way I'm gonna use all this cornstarch and water. A couple tablespoons we'll start with. You can tell it's already thickening up a little bit. I'm gonna wanna make this a little bit thicker. So this is the part where you just wanna watch. Mix it in, because I don't want to make it too thick where it's a jelly. It's thick enough to be a gravy. It almost looks like a velouté. In the UK, it's called whatever this is, browning sauce seasoning. And then in the US, one called kitchen bouquet. And you literally just want to use a capful. Watch. Look at that. Beautiful. Just a little bit more cornstarch. See, there's so much left. And let it simmer for a bit. Tofu is in the oven, crusting up nicely. We have the gravy. Now you can make any one of these parts during the day. You can do it all at once. Whatever's gonna save you time. I just have one more thing to do. Look at that, a non-cast iron pan. Hard to believe, I know. Touch of olive oil. That pan's hot, a little bit of salt. And have that tiny bit of garlic butter in there. Use a little black pepper here. And I don't have any fresh dill, but I did have some dry. Three quarters of a teaspoon. But I'm adding a little bit of that maple syrup we've been using throughout. And that's it. Say hi, everybody wants to say hi. Tired, because you were out running. Oh. So you can see, check this out. Ow, ow, ow. Why don't I take the camera to it? It's still gonna go back in the oven. It's not done, but just showing what it's looking like. We have the roasted veggies, about halfway cooked. We have the mashed potatoes. We have those glazed carrots, the maple glazed, a little bit of dill. And we have the roasted tofu. And we have that delicious gravy. Because I'm a stickler for cleaning up, you might have noticed, I'm gonna use a little bit of oil on the bottom of these. And this will just help with cleanup. Definitely adds more flavor. If I'm not using bacon paper, I'm using oil. This is how I would do it family style. Gorgeous, looks great. Tofu. Not hot. Look at that, it looks freaking awesome. And the crust, delicious. Carrots, right here. Yum. This is extra, and this can go in the oven. Look at that. Let's pop this baby in the oven. I'm gonna give it like 15, 20 minutes. All right, so you can see, dishes are all done. Look at that. Beautiful. That's heavy. Oh, that is a beautiful dish. Yes, and it's hot. Baby. Oh, Frankie's coming. Always ready for the food, aren't you, baby? Now for my favorite part. It's so bright. I'm adding some more of that gravy. Really get that subtle mustard taste. It's really, really good. Delicious. My new Christmas present to myself. Pranky. I'm gonna call my buddy Steve, see if he wants to take this. He has a wife and a newborn. Well, over a year old. I don't need all this food, but I'll still have plenty for a few days. Honestly, so good. Look at that. That looks great. I love this. A little bit more veg. Wouldn't want this. Looks fantastic. Frankie loves tofu. Come kiss. Get him, Frankie. Get him. <laughs>